there's significantly more involved uh, for, for developing a successful video marketing strategy than running out and buying a video camera, coming back to the dealership and uh, you know now all of a sudden we're just shooting a lot of videos. There's, uh, it, there's a lot more to it than that. And the three core components that we really need to focus on are the content, uh, content's king. Content is the type of video. Is this a value proposition video? Is this a test drive video of a particular, a, a new make or a new model? Um, is this a testimonial video? Is it a introduction video uh, for a department or an individual person? Uh, or is it an inventory video? There's a lot of, of different video types that are important in your strategy. Um, and that's, uh, that's part of the content equation. But additionally in the content equation is the informational and the emotional value of the video. So the, con the consumer doesn't want to see another commercial. They see your commercials all the time. When it comes to video, uh, today's shopper wants to see real, genuine content. So they want it to be personal, just like, I, just like, like this video with me talking to you. Um, they want to know that you're real. They want to feel your sincerity. Um, they want to uh, definitely be informed, but at the same time, they would they could always use uh, some kind of fun, some kind of entertainment in that video as well. So that's what today's shopper, in terms of content, is really looking for. There has to be a certain informational value, but uh, then we also have to use the video for what we're really wanting to use the video for, and that's to create emotion in the shopper. That's what it's all about, Marketing 101, creating an, uh, some kind of an emotional reaction from, the, from the, the, uh, the shopper who's watching the video. And that's what content is all about. The next component is how do we, now that we've got the videos, how do we get those videos on the touch points where they need to be? We know that the average shopper utilizes 24 touch points throughout the buying cycle these days. We've got all these video types. We've got all these touch points, and we've got these buyers bouncing around uh, from one part of the buying cycle to the next. How can we get the right video in front of the right shopper at the right time of the buying cycle? So distribution of that video is the next step. One way, one thing we can do is we can spend all day grabbing URLs, grabbing links, and, and trying to embed them here and embed them there and drop them here and drop them there. A lot of touch points may let you do that, but there's also touch points that won't let you uh, embed video. They'll take some kind of a video feed, they'll, they'll take a video URL, access to a video uh, along with your other data information, but they're not going to allow you to upload a video directly to them or embed a video directly to them. So that's where uh, really having some kind of a strategy, a distribution strategy to automate as much of that process as possible uh, really comes into play. It does not only save you a lot of time, but it really helps with the next aspect of the strategy, and that's data. So, the really cool thing about video is, like, like we mentioned, most of these touch points don't want to host the video. They will take a URL, but they don't want to have the size of the, all these video files loading down their servers. So, that creates a huge opportunity for you if you're using the right video host. A video host will give you access to the data of every shopper that's watching every video that you have across every touch point that you have. So you know exactly what shopper is watching a video throughout the entire, what videos they're watching, where they're watching them from, what geolocation, what touch point, what device they're using to watch them on. You know it, each and every uh, tiny little bit of information about every single shopper and you can follow that shopper throughout the entire buying cycle. So then having a strategy to use that data either uh, through real-time communications with that shopper via the video so based on the shopper's behavior, the different videos they've watched on different touch points at different times in the buying cycle, no matter what the touch point is, when they click to, in, to watch a video, 
in real time while they're watching that video, you can take all of this data and create messages that can display on your video specifically to that shopper. Um, another great way to use the data is to uh, coordinate with your CRM company so that you can use that same information and have a profile of the shopper inside your CRM so that if the shopper does fill out a form or opens one of your video emails, if the video email is being hosted at the same place with all of your other videos, then all of a sudden you can match the not just the, the uh, data of the shopper, you can know that shopper by name and have a complete history profile of all the videos that shoppers watch throughout the, the entire buying cycle. Then utilize future activity, future data uh, from that shopper to not only cue specific messages via your videos, but cue specific messages or specific alerts inside your CRM. So those are really, if you, if you can focus on those three main basic strategies, um, you're going you're gonna to find yourself really on track to have an extremely successful video marketing strategy.